What do Legos, swimming pools, and engineering have in common? It's the Water Botics curriculum. Water Botics is a curriculum that was developed here at Stevens Institute of Technology with the goal of getting middle school kids excited and interested and engaged in pursuing science and engineering. The Water Botics Camp is also an opportunity to address a national problem, which is to increase the participation of underrepresented groups in science and engineering. This is an opportunity to get to do new things with robots. Water Botics is a very great experience I've been lucky to go to. Uh, it's when you get these NXT robots to build your own robot and program it to move underwater and pick grab a claw to pick up stuff. Stevens is a great place to hold a program like Waterbotics. Students get a real sense of what life is like on the campus of a technological university and they get this wonderful vista across from Manhattan and New York City and get a sense of what life can be like uh, as a college student in their future. L Legos are great. They're intuitive uh, to students. Most students have worked with them at, at one point uh, before. Uh, but really what makes Legos great is that it allows for rapid prototyping. You can take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together, and again, it's, it, it allows the students to rapidly prototype and to work well in groups. If one student says, I think we should make it go this way, uh, they can try it, and if they don't like it, they can then change it again really easily. Because it's underwater robots, that, that really provides a, a lot of engineering principles that wouldn't be provided in a regular land-based robotics program. You have uh, stability, buoyancy. Students start uh, thinking about gearing. With gearing comes speed and torque. So, th so there's quite a few principles that are higher level principles that the students may not know that they're learning them at the time, but uh, good educators can just come back and say, hey, do you remember when you did this? This is what you just learned by making that robot. The secret is to have stability and uh, balance in the sides of the robot and the motors must be apart from each other because if they're very close it's very difficult to turn. We have to um, test our robots in the water to see if it's unbalanced or if it's balanced. I've learned programming, I also learned the back forward motions, uh, turning side to side and everything like that. There are four main tasks in the Waterbotics program. The first task is for the students to build a robot that will take their robot straight across the pool. The second task is they have to get their robot to do a figure eight. The third task is to get their robot to go underwater. And eventually the final task is to get their robot to pick things up off the bottom of a, of a pool. Uh, so they have to design a robot that has a claw mechanism as well. The first day we had to make the robot go from the one side of the pool to the other. We had to make a claw to try to keep the ball with our robot to try to get it to our own goal. The Waterbotics Summer Camp visited the Davidson Lab, uh, which was a great opportunity for the students. Uh, the Davidson Lab here at Stevens Institute of Technology is a large indoor swimming pool that tests hydrodynamics of uh, various vehicles, and some of those vehicles happen to be underwater robots. So we had uh, our students actually get to engage and talk to some professors and graduate students that are actually working in uh, underwater robotic programs. Teams at Waterbotic Summer Camp are extremely important. All the teams uh, not only work together, but we also do what we call systems engineering. Uh, some of the students might be working on programming while some of the other students are working on uh, bot building. And from that standpoint, I think that it really does give uh, the students some, some expectations uh, for, for the types of jobs that are out there when, when they ultimately go through uh, college and, and head out into the real world. They need to learn how to communicate on their ideas and to uh, work together to successfully complete a mission. The camp was really fun because I got to meet new people. We got to work together. Primarily, the Waterbotics summer camp is a lot of fun. I think that a lot of students, they come here to have fun, and they leave here learning things that they didn't expect to learn. Uh, and really, our hope is that Waterbotics summer camp is going to spur kids to think about careers that they might not have thought about, whether that's in uh, mechanical engineering or electrical engineering, uh, or maybe they, you know, they want to 
build robots themselves when they get older. And we've, we've had a lot of feedback from the parents. They're extremely pleased that their kids are coming home talking about, hey, I'm really into this robotics thing. You know, I'm looking forward to joining the robotics club when I get back to school. That's some of the feedback that I've heard, and I'm, I'm extremely pleased with it. I think uh, I might uh, work with uh, robotics when I grow up because uh, it's very interesting and you have a lot of fun. You should definitely come because it's a great experience and you have a lot of fun. I know I did. <laughs>